Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to uninstall Cortana in Windows 10. Now, you would probably would think that it's probably going to be like that regular disable feature that we do from the registry or the group policies. But actually, if you currently have the Windows 10 May 2020 update, that is version 2004, you actually have the ability to uninstall it using PowerShell to get it uninstalled. So I'll be showing you how to do that and also in case you need to, how you can get it back also. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. Alright guys, so first thing you do is go ahead and you can go to start and you can type in PowerShell if you want to and then you can right click on it or select administrator because you will need to have administrator rights for this to work or you can also just right click if it's correctly set on your computer and you'll see Windows PowerShell admin go ahead and select it and you'll pretty much see the admin so you'll probably be prompted let's go ahead and select it and see here it is go ahead and press yes and here we are we are on to this system now it's going to need to be a script for this to be done for this to be there I actually will probably help you out on this but let's go ahead and just type in the words that you need you're going to need to get git dash apps x package space star and then you're going to type in microsoft dot five four nine nine eight one and then uppercase c it probably doesn't need uppercase but just in case i'm putting in that layout and you're going to need f five then f ten and then star I think if I'm correctly, that will automatically allow it to look for those keywords there. And then we're going to need this symbol right here. It's right next to the enter button. I don't know what it's exactly called. And then next, you're going to go ahead and type in remove dash apps x and package. Let me check real quick what this symbol is actually called real quick. It's a vertical bar is what it's called, if I'm correctly. That's what it's telling me. I'm going to check just to be sure. And yes, it's a vertical bar. So that's what you're going to need to put for right here. After just, we're going to go ahead and press enter. Now, before I go ahead and just type this, this current version that I just typed in is the one for the current user only. Now, if you want the one that contains all users, all you have to do is pretty much keep the exact same thing what we just put on here. And what we're going to do is slide over. And right here, we're just going to put in dash all users. And it pretty much does the exact same thing right here. And regardless, we see Cortana's that's right here right now. You can see it coming up. We're going to go ahead and just X this out. And I'm going to go ahead and press enter and see what it does. So. Cortana is not loading up. Let's go ahead and restart this computer and see what it does. And here we have it. Cortana is not there anymore. It probably just has a simple glitch on this choice here. She's not coming up at all. I can probably just remove her now from this list to show the Cortana button because it's unnecessary. But she is not active anymore. It's uninstalled. Now to bring it back, we can probably can do a very simple step. What we're going to do is go ahead and go to Microsoft Store. And if I'm correctly, this only allows for the current user because you technically uninstalled it. And that's fine. In reality, I literally don't even use Cortana. And we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to type in Cortana. And here's Cortana with a wonderful two stars, not even, well, one and a half stars. And we're going to go ahead and press Git. And it's going to tell us if you want to use access to sign into your account. I'm actually going to press no because I really don't need to put my personal information on there. And it tells us that it's you own this app. And it's downloading the files. Give it a little bit of time. And it should install. We'll test it right now. And it says that Cortana is installed. Let's go ahead and just launch it. And there is Cortana again. Let's actually click it and see what it does. And there's Cortana back. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. Don't forget to check out our wonderful t-shirts. I have put a link there on the description for you. And if you want to help us out, that would be great. But 
Regardless, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.